In this video, we're going to learn about class constructors in Python. A constructor initializes an instance of a class or instance object using the init or initialize method. So a constructor basically helps construct your object at the time the object is created. And it typically sets all the fields or attributes associated to that object to some default values. You can add parameters to the constructor to initialize the instance attributes, and you can also provide default values to the parameters. So if an object is created and no value is provided to the parameter, then the default value will get set. The self parameter saves arguments passed to the constructor as instance attributes. So let's jump to an example of creating class constructors in Python and try out constructors with and without parameters and also test out the default values for parameters. And we'll also use the self parameter and see how that works as well. In this example, we have a class called person. And person has three attributes, name, age, and weight. And this code right here, this block of code is called the constructor for the person class. And the constructor is named double underscore init double underscore. And what it's doing is it constructs your object at the time that it's created. So if you created a person object, it's going to set the name to NA for not available, age to zero and weight to 0, 0.0. And then this is just an instance method to print out the data that belongs to that person object. And down here, we created a person called person one and set the name, age, and weight for Kanye West, 44, 203.2 pounds. And we print out the person and we get this data printing to the screen. But if we didn't provide name, age, and weight, and ran the program, it's going to grab the data from the constructor. So it built that object by setting those attributes to these default values. But another thing that you can do with the constructor is pass parameters to it. We can say name, age, and weight added to the parameter list of the init method. And we could set self.name to the parameter name where self.name refers to the name that belongs to the object, whereas name without self as a prefix belongs to the parameter. So self.age is age and self.weight is weight. So just to show you guys, if you were to remove the self from before the weight, then notice that in PyCharm it highlights the word weight all three places. So what it's doing is it's setting the parameter to the parameter, but with the self in front of it, then weight is only being highlighted on the right hand side. So we know that this weight belongs to the person object, not, and it's not associated to this weight that comes from the parameter. Okay, so after we've created this constructor and passed in three parameters, we can go back to person. And let's try running it now and we get a bunch of errors because it's expecting you to pass arguments to it for name, age, and weight in that specific order. So let's say that the name is Kanye West, age 44, and weight 203.45 pounds. Run the program now, and it works as before. And we don't have to call person1.name, person1.age, or person1.weight. We pass all that data directly to person. And you can always set one of these fields to a different um, data value later, like person one dot age, let's say Kanye West had a birthday and now he's 45. And then run the program, you can see that his age updated. So yeah, that's it for constructors. You can see that we're able to provide default values or pass in the values as parameters to the constructor and create objects in, in different ways. Thanks for watching.